Hello and welcome back to what's in the box. <laughs> Today we have more stuff from you guys, which is ridiculous. Firstly, thank you so much. The generosity is ridiculous, isn't it? Yes, very much so. Um, so are you excited to see the range of things that have been sent? When you say range of things, are they mainly frustrating kits? Uh, possibly. Okay, I'm ready then. Okay, so what's this? It's a very appealing cat toy. Fucking for hell. For a start. Her face just... Let me just... <coughs> yes. Right, we'll leave that with you. We have the wonderful... What on earth? Candle making craft kit. Oh, yay. For all your candling needs. Look over here. Hello. Hello. Try to read the box. Copyright 1993. Well, I don't suppose that a lot has happened. To 2015. A lot has oh. happened in the world of candles. They come from Wigston in Leicestershire. And it's House of Craft. .co.uk. The craft of candle making is a fascinating and absorbing pastime with an endless variety of designs, colours and techniques available. This kit contains all the materials needed to create an elegant and colourful selection of traditional and floating candles. Ooh, Ooh. What witchcraft is this? <laughs> with added fragrance. Uh, so it, conta it contains some stuff. Uh, not suitable for children, <laughs> not suitable for children under three years. I can't find the sad onion though. That's like, copyright. I guess it's not a toy, is it? So would it have, is that just for, I, I can't see. I don't know how the sad onion works, but he's not on there. Contains small parts, which may cause a choking hazard. Um, ensure all instructions are followed as failure to do so could result in a fire hazard or I'm personal good. injury. I'm good. Right, okay, so um, inside. we'll have a brief look. Actually, what I will say is the front looks quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, then we have, wow, a very, very traditional looking oh my God. instruction mat. That looks like it could be out of my mum's cookbooks in the 80s. Look at those words. Earlier. Wax, hot water. So you need two sauce, you're gonna fucking kill a saucepan. You're buying in your own saucepan for this. Yeah, I think we are. Oh, and also, don't worry if you are French or Italian because they have those instructions for you as well. Good. Lovely. That will be the candle wax. In well, it looks like tiny crystal little crystal meth. <laughs> like, oh, oh. hello. <laughs> Hi, Libby. Would you like my pipette? No. Oh, all the pipette is a, an appealing cat toy. It's a we, stick made of plastic. We shall have to, um, oh shit. Hello, please don't take off my face or hand. She won't do that. Also, please don't break the pipette. We need it for later, Libby. It's like for putting drops of fragrance into wax. Wa wa I guess so. Waxy, waxy wax wax melt. I guess so. Should we try and do an appealing cat oh. picture? Oh! Oh, Jesus wept. There you go. There you go, you won. You won. Well done. You won. <laughs> Don't kill us. Hang on, where's the... Can you get me the cardboard? I'm now being shook down for the wax pipette. <laughs> Hello. Look at this long body. <laughs> I was using the box of the candle thing then to hold her on the table. It's just okay. rolling backwards. So, shall we carry on with the candle making kit? Let's continue. Now we have appeased the creature slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's carry on. So, uh, it comes with a pipette. Yay. Uh, there's some plastic moulds. To make the candle shapes. Yep, so if I turn it upside down, you can see. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So these will be the floating ones. These are the, the non floating ones. Uh, and then in this tiny baggie, which we have to be careful with, we have 
uh, all the horrible chemicals and dyes. Yeah, dyes, some sticks, which I, someone sat on the instructions, so I couldn't tell you what they are. Uh, what looks like might be paraffin. Or yeah, fra possibly. fragrant par oh, parfum, parfum uh, and some uh, wick string. So I look forward to us, we'll make some of them. Have a little go. Libs looks unconvinced. Uh, oh, they're wick rods, those plastic things. You're a wick rod. Oh, maybe they're hollow and you put them in. Maybe. Well, and then you take. Let's leave out. some mystery. I don't know, we'll find out. Let's leave Thank some you. mystery. Pop that on the floor. Uh, right. Next up, we have. Retro Radio. Ooh. So this is for you. This is build your own radio. No soldering needed. Clear step by step instructions. It will look like that at the end. In the style of the old Haynes manual. Yeah. In fact, the, the full instructions come in the shape of a mini manual. It will require a battery. Oh. That's where they get you. This what is sort a, of battery. Uh, a nine volt. Oh, a square one. Yes. Oh, that's old school. Well, it is a retro radio. I told you about the knife. Didn't I say get a knife? No, it's fine. Look, and it comes in a nice little box, which I assume is... This Look, that's all the thing. Oh, this is literally the box. This is literally the radio. Look, it's got the speaker holes. Comes in a cardboard... No, that's the radio. Let me see. A cardboard case. That's the radio. Wow. So you're going to use that. Don't shake it. Sorry, little one. Um, you're going to... When you open it... Oh, careful! I know. Come out! Here we go. Here we are. Right, so when you open it, you can see there's like a mount bit on the back oh, of the yeah. speaker. And then you've got all your little bits. Not many and, not many bits. That won't take very long. And your little manual! Mm. So we'll do that as a video at some point. Lovely. Let us know what you think. Thank you very much for the cool. radio. That is really cool. You're gonna. I mean, are there. There must. No, there are FM. Yes. There's still. Yeah. Yes. yes. No, it hasn't been switched off. So you could use this yes. in the workshop. <clears throat> I could. Depending on how loud it is. Yes. But no, that's a nice little kit. Thank you very much. Uh, right. That is down there. <coughs> Uh, next up, we have you get. I don't know why you bought these. Well, I kind of do. But you bought some mystery bags. I bought some blind bags. Bought some blind bags. He's been having an ash and binge again, and came home with <laughs> some DreamWorks Trolls blind bags from the very successful DreamWorks Trolls movie. It has got a sad onion on it. Let's see. It doesn't look sad, it kind of looks dismayed. Yeah. Mortified. And it's, a, and it's got a lion on it as well, Larry the Lion. Has it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it has. Okay. That's for ages four plus. Collect all 12. This is series nine. They've had nine series of these troll things. All right, okay. Get that shit open because- It doesn't, um, say, it doesn't say on the back what you can get, so who the fuck knows. Bag number one. Oh, I've just cut some trolls hair. Oh, Hannah. This is the problem. This is a flaw. This is a flaw in the design of these bags. If I can't tear them open, I have to cut them open, which means that trolls get haircuts. Brilliant. It's only a matter of time for its hair now cut. lilac hair all over the place. Oh, shit. Oh, Hannah, what have you done? Oh, God, it's, all, it's so ugly. Right, hang on. Here's the packaging. Does it say anything on the packaging about how many you get? I don't know. Does it fuck? It's just, uh, oh, it's just warning. Children under three years might die in about 15 languages. So don't feed children hair. And then all their, all their offices all over the world. Very good. Brilliant. Uh, okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> her hair's a bit fucked. She's still molting. I'm not even kidding. Fuck off! But we have this fine lady here. She's got purple you hair. Behind it. Got purple hair go. uh, and some a lovely star pattern, I think. 
Very nice. Do you know, we don't know what she's called or anything. I don't even know if they have names. Amazing. They're just random. Very good. Random trolls. Well, there's one. She stands up, which is good. Always good. Um, let's, let's do another one. What are you doing? I'm fixing the hair. I can't believe there you, you didn't even wait until you unwrapped it to there break go. it. Fixed it. Doesn't look as wispy now. It's got a bit of plastic stuck on it though, like glue from the factory or something, which is a bit, a bit grim. Oh my God, these are the perfect size for the greenhouse. <gasps> They're in scale for the greenhouse. Hang on. Spoilers, are they? Let me have a little look. Oh shit, no, they might be a bit small. This is a, uh, this is supposed- I can't see that. That's so a chest to... of drawers. Yes. She's a bit. Well, yeah, we get the idea. I mean, it's something. It's all right. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Magic. Right, you live there. Now we know. Right, try not out, to fuck this one up. That's the feet. If, so if I cut it from the bottom, I shouldn't take out the hair. Libby does not look impressed with you at all. Well, Libby, I'm sorry, but only one of us has opposable thumbs, so we have to get by. Oh, look, it's the fine gentleman from the front. Hang on a minute. His hair's very bent, which is partly down to the glue. In fact, you could, you could basically tell where the glue stops, can't you? Because it's where the hair just turns into hair versus yes. an he adhesive looks... star pattern. It's got a bit of a jaunty smile. Well, look, he's on the packet, so oh! he must be a big fucking deal. Very exciting. Right, last, last one, and I'm struggling to find hair or feet. Mm. Right, we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to guess and hope that uh Yep, no no hair was harmed. You learned your lesson the first time. In fact, no hair was harmed because it's not a frickin' troll. What? It's a tiny sheep goat out of Spyro. Put it show us its profile. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a lamb, isn't it? Yeah. How weird. Maybe it's their emotional support lamb. Well, it's it's there we go. They've got a pet lamb. I mean, what the fuck do you say to that? There's purple hair everywhere. Don't don't a good sniff. I bet she is. I was gonna say we've got a fine assortment of small dudes. Small dudes, yeah. Um yeah I guess we'll put them in the greenhouse. Or they could go and live with uh Bart Simpson and one of the Smurfs on the window in the kitchen. Yeah maybe we'll when yeah maybe when the greenhouse is finished all the little men from around the house can go and live in there. That'd be good. He's so doing its hair already. I guess if I could fix its, <laughs> its horrible mess of a... It's got a bit of a man bun going on now. <laughs> well, the problem is they've stuck adhesive on these stars. And it just makes it all one... There you go, it's a bit, it's a bit straighter. Oh, fuck it, I don't... Why? Stupid trolls. Okay, that's trolls. Fuck next. off, trolls. Uh, right, next. Actually, this is quite appropriate, and I wonder if... The scale on this one will be a little bit better for the trolls. Cute B. Cute B. Cute B. Cute B. DIY house. DIY house. Love handmade, enjoyed life. Love handmade, enjoyed life. Mini house, do it yourself. And then on the side, uh, made in China. Mm hmm. Notice. Battery and glue are not included. That's lucky. What a ripper. Because you've bought all that glue. I know. Uh, and not included because they are forbidden by air transport. Non finished product include materials and instruction. Please assemble according to the instruction. Music box need to purchase extra. Whatever that means. Uh, tools needed paper, scissors, knife, hole maker, precision tweezers, screwdriver, adhesive. 
Warning, some parts of the toy are relatively small. Please be more careful not to put them into children's mouth. Let's see. There's another one. Adults are requested to guardianship and guidance their children. Assemble the project. I mean, we get what they're trying to say. Don't... Don't force feed it to small children. Don't let your children eat them and look after your children at all times. Can we look inside? Yes. Uh, now this one is... This one, I think, on the listing is called Cake Diary. Okay. Because, you know... Oh, it is. Yes. Uh, because this is definitely... This cake shop is, is definitely a cake diary. Ooh, cake diary. Cake diary. So, um... This one is a little bit different to the Let's other one. Let's look inside one. the pictures. Good, good. All right, hang on. Uh, it was that one I wanted you to have a look at, I think, because that one's got like the pre-assembled food that you cut up and shit like that. Ooh, look, cakes. Yeah, it's Can fact, you stop rustling behind me? No, I'm trying to get you the cakes. Look, cakes. And a cat. <laughs> and a, is that a rolling pen? Uh, yes, probably. So it's a cake shop. Mm, look, the cat's eating a donut. Um, um, nom, <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> well, we'll try that at some point. It, I think it looks a little less complicated than the other one. Just because there's not as much paper craft. The other one had a lot of cutting out. But we shall see. I opened it at work. I basically was like, Katie, look at the cake shop at Katie and showed her the small things and was like, this is amazing. All right, have that. What's next? Uh, next up is actually, if I put this on here, this arrived, this arrived in the same box, right? Two presents in the same box, a gift for you. And it says, enjoy your gifts from 10 Mr. Big, oh. who is a Twitch sub. Wow. So, there's this one. Oh my god, and there's this one, which is heavier than the, that one. So, I know, I, I know what this one is, because I had a quick look. Don't know what that one is. Okay, can you move that one out of the shot? Yes, sorry. Can we yes. concentrate on one thing at a time, because right. otherwise it's just red. I know. I know, right. And as director of photography, I can't have you interfering with my vision. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes, Chef. <laughs> That's all right, Chef. Okay, are you ready? <clears throat> I'm ready. So number one <coughs> is, mm -hmm. in fact, you found this, literally, I think it was last week, the week oh. before. It's the saltwater powered motorcycle. Oh, kit. wow. This looks cool. Give. Okay, go on then, run us through it, because I know nothing uh, about it. It's a motorbike, but he's a, he's a man. Look, <laughs> there's his head. There's wheels, and uh, he can go straight run, S turn, left or right cycling, circling, sorry, I beg your pardon. It's salt water powered motorcycle. It's amazing, educational, and it is made uh, made from yeah. made from Germany, and it has a salt water fuel cell in it. Hang on. Yeah, you can see that now. And then on the back, um, it says lots of, there's some words. Uh, it says power plus junior, but we'll ignore the junior bit. Um, small parts, ages 10 plus. Yeah, cool. Let's have a That's look exciting. inside. All right, okay. It's quite exciting. Manual. Manual, need that. Uh, bits. Including day decals. Cogs and, and decals, yes. Oh, look, there's another pipette. This motherfucker. It's a plastic kit. Uh, and that's it. What? So the salt water fuel cell must be in that little box. So I'm guessing it's a tiny oh, it's a cat hair on it. Tiny <laughs> little electric motor. Yeah. I've got wow. in my eye. As that well. doesn't look fiddly at all. Well, I look forward to trying that one. Oh yeah, no, so it's these two bits are in the picture. Uh where's the coloured picture? Here, look. Mm-hmm. So those two must react together in some way with... The water in between them. And then, yeah, I think you're right. That might be a tiny motor. Mm. That'll be a fun, a fun little video. So part two. Yes. 
is something else I put on the list around the same time, but is not related to the motorcycle. Okay. It is, this is gonna be great. You're gonna get so angry at this. If you thought the candles were bad, you did not expect handmade soap kit. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be great. It's gonna be so much fun. You're going to love this. Hang on. Do you, when you say love, do you mean hate? I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know what you mean. It's going to be great. We're going to be making soaps from natural ingredients, which is a fascinating pastime. Didn't we hear that phrase earlier in the video? A fascinating pastime? It's fascinating to melt, kit. to melt wax. Uh, a wide variety of materials can be included and superb results are easily achieved. So do we have to render animal fat in order to make this soap? Uh, we should or find are they going to provide us with soap granules? I bet they provide us with some soap. Oh, oh. hello. Oh, oh. It's got like a Chinese container. <coughs> it has, for a takeaway. Um, so we have, le that's stuff. lemongrass. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to picking that out of the shell. Uh, marigold petals. And then Irish moss. Okay. Or, or the other way around <laughs> for those. Uh, we have very traditional soap moulds. Well, there's soap on it, in case think, you get confused. Yeah, yeah. I think it might be ice cream and go to eat it. Now, because this is the same brand, House of Crafts, we have very nice instruction manual so perfectly, again. Perfectly legible. <coughs> oh, it needs two saucepans! Yay! It involves more melting. That means I get more more use out of that saucepan. Can you imagine right. asking your mum, can I use your saucepan to make... Soap. She'd say, fuck off. She a... wouldn't, she would just say, no you can't. We have another pipette. Oh, don't take the top off of that! Why? Because it can smell. I know, I want to smell, see what it smells like. Okay. Oh, like soap. Oh dear. <laughs> and then we have the soap compound. It looks like nitro. Well, it's just glycerine, isn't it? It's fucking rocks. Like, it, yeah, it's it's rock solid. Good, good. So um, I don't actually know. Pate a savon. savon. I think savon. Uh, actually, no. Composito it's not. di sapone. Savon might be soap. I was thinking of salle de bain, which is bathroom. Oh, you could put some oatmeal in there to en enable the soap to be used as a body scrub. Oh, I do seem to recall when I looked them up that they had a handmade soap kit and potentially a vegan one as a separate listing. So mm. I'm going to assume not vegan. Um, but I could always no, email would, them and ask. I think it would say in massive letters if it was. Yeah, because that's like a big deal to the point of like, look, this is the one to buy normally otherwise Good. it doesn't stand out so yeah i i like copyright the, 2012 I like to 2016. The boxes. they have nice boxes at least the background <coughs> it's a good picture of the products that you're not showing to us currently i like it mm -hmm. very traditional give them to me mum at christmas what's next well it's technically last as well but oh okay what's last by no means least it's the HMS Victory! Oh. I see no ships. What? Do you know? know ships? That's what Nelson said, isn't it? Is it? Yes, it's you one know, of his, one of his famous history. quotes. They were like, Boss, boss, there's a fuck ton of enemy ships over there, we should keep away from them. Yeah. And he, allegedly, he went, held his, fuck off, mate. Held his telescope up to his missing eye and said, I don't see any fucking ships, let's go. Well, and then, he got shot in the chest and died. Good job, mate, good job. Uh, so, this is the HMS Victory. A make your own DIY kit from Revel. Woo, Revel! Which I think is a German company based on the fact that English is the second language on here and German is the first. It would also fit into my expectations because much like puzzle games, Germans do make a lot of these things. They fucking they love them. They do. Farming sim as well. That is huge if you go to Gamescom. Do you want to no, hear? Would you like to hear a, a, a German lifestyle fact? Yes. Well, in England we have tea and cake, don't we? Yes. But in Germany well, they have kind of. they have coffee and kuchen. 
Oh, that sounds like a better lifestyle to be honest. I know, honest. don't you want some? I do. I do quite a bit. So, it says on the back, detailed model kits for advanced model builders. Oh no! I should point out, this is level four, and I assume it goes from one easiest to five hardest. Uh, experience in gluing and painting is required. Kit suitable for ages 12 to adult. Uh, what else to say? Non assembled plastic model kits. Adhesives and paints not included. So they get some paint. Required for results similar to images. Illustrated multilingual assembly instructions include extensive directions. We've been had. We've all been had by this. Yeah, but these things are never painted and they're never That's glued. That's true. That's true. So you're going to have to buy some model paint. Then it says here model construction kit of HMS Victory, Admiral Nelson's flagship at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. Finely detailed hull sides, structured deck, gun positions, ornamentally decorated bow, uh, detailed mast with crow's nest. Uh, shroud, shrouds, shrouds. Does it mean sails? Well, it says shrouds, but I'm guessing it's been translated wrong and they do mean sails. Uh, it says, uh, but, uh, the kit includes rigging twine. Good. Oh my god. And a flag chart. Well, look, if you, if you look, this is from, this is the actual model. Oh my god. Comes in 269 oh, oh, parts. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. It will be 40 centimeters long by 33 centimeters high. That looks easy. It is worth pointing out. Uh -huh. If I have a look at, there it is down here. Uh, that profits from the service product do go towards the preservation of naval heritage and the National uh, Royal Navy Museum. Oh. So, uh, it is, is actually... Is that because the HMS Victory is copyrighted? Yes, bitch! It's a registered trademark! Is it? Yeah! Hey. Let's have a look at the instructions. <laughs> look at that, it's an exploded diagram. They have also, in case you want to do some painting, they have created a painting by numbers system. I don't feel like For wanting to, wanting to do painting comes into it. <laughs> So these are the rigging, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Do your balls hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a regimental soldier? Or you'll never oh. be a sailor if your balls hang low. That'd be the sails. They're not mm. fabric. They're Papier. plastic. No, they're plastic. Okay. I think. No, those are the sails. Yeah. Not yeah, the they're, they're plastic. Mm. Or. I would look forward to giving those a black wash. But that's fabric. Getting, uh, getting the dry oh brushing going on. And then that's the ship. Fucking hell. There's already some stuff that's broken loose, no. which hopefully isn't snapped and is actually like broken in the right place. Like this, this lifeboat has already tried to escape. Well, that is the... <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I'm amazed they had lifeboats. I don't think that's a lifeboat. I think it's just a boat. No, there's a boat in the middle of it. Look, well, I don't in think the that's... picture, there's some boats. Yeah, I don't think those are like Oh, they're just general boats. I think they're just boats oh, for like doing shit, going down rivers and landing okay. and stuff like that. I don't think they're like lifeboats I for... I see. But what I will for, say... For the poor sailors. What I will say to them is they do, if you want to paint it, <coughs> provide you with all the colour numbers. Oh, that's there. good. Well, that'll so make it, it nice and easy it, for you to buy so them. it ties into this. Yes, it is. They facilitated the Very purchasing. Very good indeed. They have, if actually, I've just realized something. What? If they had to sell this with the paints in it, it you? would cost more. So they'd have to give more uh. to the Royal Navy. But if they have to buy uh, them separately. I don't think that's how it works. Surely, I don't think that's how profits it works. from the sale of this product, so it would be a percentage amount, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe. So they're saving a bit of money by selling You should write separately. to Revel and demand to see also, their accounts. Also, there's a cat hair on the lens. Get away! <laughs> okay, put all of this back in here, please. All right, all right. Um, so yeah, that's, that's no. it. No. You mean I eye captain? I don't see your fucking hat. I could go and get my hat. <laughs> no. No hats. All right. Put the instructions in. Magic. So yeah, excitement all around. Lots of assemblies and DIY kits. Um, let us know what you want to see more of. 
lots of like the range. I like the range as well. We've gone from like model kits to sciencey stuff to soap kits and candle Ugh, kit stuff. Really not looking forward to that. It's gonna be great. I don't know what you mean. Oh, we could put stuff inside the soap. You could put well, like, like animals, like uh, you know when you sometimes you get a lolly and it's got a scorpion in it. You'll put a troll inside the soap. Yes. Okay, we can do that. Troll soap. You might have to shave them first. <laughs> Troll soap, make it proper man bun. Oh my God, that's gonna be amazing. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for all your support. As always, we hope you enjoyed the videos. Go and check out the playlist on the channel if you are new as well. Uh, we make stuff poorly uh, as well as opening some things. Um, and thank you very much for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.